So my name's Mark Dickinson. Uh, I'm the Vice President of Space Segment at Inmarsat, uh, looking after the design of the uh, future spacecraft, uh, overseeing their manufacture, launch, and then getting them into orbit. Humanity's been putting things into space for over 60 years now. Um, first started off with Sputnik, uh, quickly followed by activities from, from the Americans and the setting up of NASA. Uh, so for the first four decades of space exploration, um, it's really been the domain of governments or international organisations, so whether it's uh, the Russians, Americans, uh, Chinese and Europeans. And that's really how, for the first four decades of, uh, of space exploration, that's how it developed. During the last uh, 15 years in particular, we've seen a number of people, high, let's say high net worth individuals coming into space, uh, who have ambitions either to be able to develop space tourism uh, or to even go to other planets and see the future of humanity only surviving if we're able to achieve that. And so they really are it's driving a commercialization of space and there's a whole ecosystem that comes behind that. So in the last couple of years alone we've seen the number of active spacecraft uh, in orbit double primarily through the development of things called mega, con mega constellations. And so far more satellites are being put into orbit. Um, and that raises uh, challenges around sustainability in space. Uh, one of the issues you have to be particularly careful about is any debris that's created in space will stay in space, depending upon the orbital height, uh, sometimes for hundreds or thousands of years, if it's high enough, if it's above 600 kilometers uh, altitude, then things are going to be in space for hundreds of years at least if there's debris created. And space is hard to clean up. It's not like a, uh, it's not like on terrestrially where people own bits of land as countries with responsibilities. Space is a global commons. Uh, and any debris that's created in space will spread around the orbit and be everyone's problem in the future. So with the advent of launching more spacecraft into orbit, uh, more satellites to manage, uh, that becomes with a more congested space that needs to be carefully managed both to ensure sort of separation of spacecraft um, and but when predictions of uh, what collisions or what, what are called conjunctions um, occur that corrective action can take place to make sure the risk of a collision can be can be mitigated.